Well, here's what's cool. I can take the uh, disc image and I can just put it over here on the SD card. Then I can uh, pull out the SD card. No safe ejecting here, mind you. And uh, put it right into the Commodore laptop. Okay. Now, how did this work? Load that, 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 that. Okay. List of files. Okay, and we're going to want five, so we go load. Dun, dun, no. Dun, dun. Sorry, I was an Atari guy. And you know, the graphics might not have been as good, but the file handling was as much better as I've been want to mention. Ten years of loading later and we're ready to go! This game is actually pretty impressive. I've never played it before, but um, on the Commodore, but pretty impressive what they do. Of course, the arcade version of this was the bomb. Oh, I'm dead. I'm back alive! Oh, how do we ever use these joysticks? God, my hand's cramping up already. Oh, well. Maybe my six-year-old hand was much more nubile. <clears throat> no, like the 3D buildings here are only slightly worse than the Genesis version, which is saying a lot, really, if you think about it. You know, the uh, joystick just kind of goes with the color scheme of this uh, laptop, you know? It's kind of like black, brown, beige, earth tones, 1970s, you know, it uh, really all fits. Okay, you might want to email me and say, uh, the Commodore wasn't made in 1970s, and I know that, but you know, it's a general era of computing. See, I like this loading screen, at least it does something so that you know that it's actually doing something instead of just being like blank. I mean, it doesn't look like much, but I mean, progress is happening. It took several years to get to the title screen, and now stage one is taking several more years. Golden Axe on the Commodore 64. Oh, I wonder where the music went. Hmm. It's weird, some of these games you can either have the music... Oh, there it is. Oh, hello music, thanks for joining us.